Hey there, health junkies. Does your double chin annoy you? It sure annoys me. Not your double chin, my own double chin. So many people have them, due to factors such as poor diet, bad posture, and genetics. They're quite common. While there's nothing to be ashamed of, having a double chin can certainly lower your confidence. While the dad bod seems to be in, everybody wants a smaller, more defined face. Let's talk about some great ways to get rid of that double chin. Should I drink water? How about cutting calories? Wait, does chewing gum help? We're talking all that and more, so stay tuned. Number 1. Drink water Drinking water can be one of the easier ways to say goodbye to that irritating chin fat. You're already suggested to drink 8 ounces of water per day, but when your goal is to lose weight, downing water and staying hydrated is one of your best bets. Get a load of this. Multiple studies have shown that consuming 17 ounces of water in one day can actually lower your metabolism between 24 to 30 percent. That's just around 500 milliliters. There's also evidence showing that drinking a glass of water a half hour before meals can reduce the number of calories you consume. This is especially beneficial if you're obese. But in the case of a simple double chin, staying properly hydrated can stop the effects of water retention. This occurs when fluids in your body build up, causing areas of your body to swell. This includes the face and chin. Another interesting point is that when you're in need of water, your body may misinterpret this as hunger. This can result in you consuming calories you don't need, causing weight gain. If you drink water, your body will flush toxins out, making your skin healthier and firmer. This is a great first method of getting rid of that double chin. Number 2. Chin Exercises Yes, there are such things, and yes, they are suggested as another way to lose your double chin. I say they because there's actually quite a few workouts you can do. Have you ever heard of the jaw jut? With a straight jaw jut, the trick is to tilt your head back while staring up at the ceiling. Once this is done, push your lower jaw forward. Do you feel that stretch? Hold the jaw in that position for 10 seconds before returning it back to its normal place. For whatever reason you get a kick out of tilting your head back and staring at the ceiling, perhaps you would enjoy another exercise in the same position. Only this time, you're pressing your tongue against the roof of your mouth. You can also try puckering up your lips as if you were kissing the ceiling. I'm serious, this actually works. To be fair, there's little evidence showing that they are as efficient as weight loss and regular exercise. So you may want to consider our other choices before you commit to some kind of chin workout regimen. Number 3. Changing your posture We realize that times are tough and everybody's tired and stressed. But the act of stopping your slouching and walking with your head up higher can make all the difference. Over time, slouching causes your body to lose flexibility. Your muscles will eventually become weak, causing you to develop a double chin. When standing, try your best to walk with your posture straight. When sitting, try to make sure that your seat is at a proper level. This way you aren't slouching while working, placing your body in an uncomfortable position. Having the proper posture will not only help your chin, it can also make you feel better overall. Before we continue, are you looking to improve your overall health? Perhaps you should check out our video on how to get that beach body you want. Also, how has your breathing been lately? Click on our clip discussing 7 warning signs that your lungs are gasping for help. Let's continue with our list of things you can do to get rid of your double chin. Number 4. Change your diet Of course you are going to see this on the list. Changing your diet is one of the most basic ways to lose that double chin. The trick is to commit to this new diet, something that serves as a deal breaker for so many of us. If you're switching up your eating habit for the sole purpose of getting rid of that double chin, the first step you can take is cutting refined carbs and sugar. The average person is recommended between 225 and 325 carbs per day. Lowering your amount will cause you to drop weight fairly easily. The hard part is you're going to have to say goodbye to some of your favorite foods. This means no more bread, pasta, cereal, or beer. Oh, the humanity! If you stick with this routine, you should see a difference in the size of your chin rather quickly. Another food you'll want to cut down on is starched vegetables. This includes peas, potatoes, lentils, yams, and corn. When cooked, half a cup of starched vegetables is equal to about 15 grams of carbs and 80 calories. You'll want to stick to non-starchy vegetables. From here, you can go to town. In the case of a double chin, it's suggested that you consume up to four servings a day. 
A few servings of fruit is also smart, but try your best not to go overboard. Some of the most popular fruits, including apples, bananas, oranges, and cherries, have more sugar than you realize. Number five, get better exercise. Having a hard, sweaty workout is a great habit to take up. Not only will you lose weight overall, your double chin will definitely shrink in size. You're recommended at least 30 minutes of physical activity a day. This can be anything from doing normal housework to heading out for an afternoon run. With aerobic exercise, 150 minutes every week should be enough. Strength training, on the other hand, should be done at least two times a week. If one of your goals with getting in shape is to be rid of the double chin, your objective would be to work up as much of a sweat as you can during exercise. But how much do you have to exercise before this happens? The thing is that some people sweat easier than others. There are some factors that come into play such as age, genetics, gender, and body weight. Sweat is formed through the heating of the body. When you work out, your muscle activity draws this heat. The best thing you can do when exercising is to make sure that you are in a comfortable space where you can move at your own pace. Once you're in the right groove, you're one step closer to losing a decent amount of weight. That means bye-bye, double chin. Number six, chew gum. I know, this one sounds crazy, but believe it or not, constantly chewing can tone your chin. This is a method you can use if you don't have time to be exercising properly. You may not realize, but chewing your favorite gum is responsible for many physical and psychological changes to your body. It doesn't matter what brand of gum either, from breath refreshments to sugary double bubble. Who knew there was so much beauty in candy? Here's some food for thought. Were you aware that chewing gum is associated with enhanced productivity and reduced cognitive errors? You're simply much more alert when you're chewing. The physical effects are also amazing. Gum helps to strengthen all of your jaw muscles, tightening your face and getting rid of that double chin. Number seven, changing your sleeping position. After all of the existing benefits to sleeping better, add fixing your double chin to the list. Sometimes your double chin isn't a product of genetics and bad eating. The quality of sleep is also a culprit. Have you ever woken up and noticed that your face is swelled? Much of the time, you're simply suffering from something known as puffy face. This happens as a result of unwanted pressure placed on your face as you sleep. In order to put less pressure on your face during your snooze, try to lay on your back with your head elevated. This can be done by adding an extra pillow. Through this act, you're relieving your face from unwanted fluid buildup, reducing water retention, and stopping your face from having that bloated look come morning time. Even if you don't experience puffy face, a healthier sleep still has its ways of fixing your chin. Your metabolism is greatly affected when you get better rest. Sleeping disorders are often linked to obesity. So get to bed earlier, your chin will thank you. Do you have a double chin? Will you be using any of these methods to get rid of it? Let us know in the comments section. We'd love to hear from you. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait. What kind of bestie are we if we don't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.